Welcome to the fourth and the last unit in our reading mark. In the previous videos, you were introduced to reading strategies for general reading comprehension, quick selective reading, and uh, deliberate reading. In this video, a different strategy of reading is introduced and it has to do with slow, careful reading. This strategy goes beyond reading comprehension to help you take a critical stance of the text. It is known as a critical reading. So, so first, what is critical reading? When reading academic material, you will be faced with the author's interpretation and opinion. Different authors will naturally have different stance. So you should always examine what you are reading critically and look for limitations, omissions, inconsistencies, oversights, and arguments against what you are reading. In academic circles, you will be expected to understand different viewpoints and make your own judgments based on what you have read. So as a critical reader, you should reflect on the following. First, what the text says, meaning after critically reading a piece of writing, you should be able to take notes, paraphrase in your own words, the key main points. You should reflect on what the text describes, which means you should be confident that you have understood the text sufficiently to be able to use your own examples and compare and contrast with all the writing on the subject in hand. Last, you should reflect on the interpretation of the text, which means that you should be able to fully analyze the text, understand the viewpoint and the interpretation, the possible interpretation of the text, and state a meaning for the text as a whole. Henceforth, critical reading is more than or let's say is beyond the reading comprehension. It means being able to reflect on what the text says, what it describes, and what it means by scrutinizing the style and structure of the writing, the language used, as well as the content. A, let's say a significant question to be asked here and needed to be answered is how can you use the critical reading strategy? The, there are some steps you may follow while reading a text if your purpose in addition to reading comprehension is to read critically. The first step is to identify the concepts. As you read, find what the text talks about. And as we have seen in, pre in previous videos, this can be achieved through looking at the title and the, the subtitles. Also, how many concepts and ideas are being discussed. And this can be discovered through going through the uh, first sentences of paragraphs. The second step is to clarify concepts. While you are reading, ask questions like, what is meant by, what is the definition of, and what is the relationship between Step three, question assumptions and rationale. Ask these questions. What are the writer's assumptions? What is the writer's main claim? What rationale or justifications did he use? What are the main arguments found in the text? Step four, be critical. At this stage, you're, not get, you're going to introduce your point of view, but be sure that you're going to introduce an objective point of view about the text, avoid subjectivity and giving personal points of view. Do you share the same points of view? And if no, what are the counter arguments do you have? If you reach this point, Going through all the videos we have presented in this reading work, you will be able to develop your reading comprehension skills, your reading uh, competencies and abilities, 
and the ability to be a critical reader.